I'm Sam Hutton, a tomato breeder for University of Florida. And I'm standing here in the middle of a trial that's, uh, that's put on by Two Blades Foundation. In this particular trial, we're looking at tomatoes that contain the uh, transgene from pepper, BS2 gene. More control of bacterial spot. This is what bacterial spot looks like right here. You get lots of lesions. When it gets really severe, such as this, you start to get a lot of defoliation as well. You can expose a lot of fruit, get a lot of damage to the fruit, and end up with severe losses to marketable yield and even to total yield as well. So this disease is probably the most important disease in Florida, um, year in, year out, as far as uh, continual losses. Um, and in trials such as this, we can show up to uh, a 100% increase, uh, double the yield of these trials by, using, by having the transgenic version of these plants out here. And that's under conditions of severe pressure with no uh, pesticides or control of bacterial spot. No copper, no ActiGuard, or other chemicals. Somewhere around 10 years ago, I started working with Two Blades Foundation, uh, where they had the uh, transgenic tomato with the BS2 gene from pepper put into tomato. And we started working with some Californian material, a line called BF36, which is very sensitive to uh, bacterial spot. And the gene just cleaned it right up. And uh, the other thing we began to find is uh, we did a lot of trials and we were finding generally about twofold yield increase for marketable fruit production uh, with this. Went ahead, transformed uh, some of the Florida material from my program, and we found basically the same results. Real nice resistance and uh, astonishing yield increases with the technology. Now behind me here in the trial <coughs> is a line, I don't know how well it'll show up on the video, but it's susceptible. This is called Florida 8736, and this is the regular hybrid <clears throat> and you can, I think you can see the defoliation uh, the necrosis of the vine <clears throat> now right over here Dan, if you come over to this side <clears throat> this is the same variety only with the BS2 gene in it and what you see is just green foliage I'll pull some of it back nice tomatoes and no problem <clears throat> overall we look at it as a, a pretty green technology lower pesticide inputs, reduced copper in the environment, and then higher yields because of it. And that's without any increases in fertilizer and plastic and fumigant and anything else. And so you have a lower carbon footprint with this as opposed to a traditional variety where growers would be out spraying over and over and over again for control of bacterial spot when conditions are favorable. Uh, it's a great technology. Uh, this is exactly the type of thing we need in agriculture now where the conventional approach doesn't come up with a good solution and we can come up with an easy solution here uh, it'd be nice to be able to uh, use it